When you try this DLC, you'll be shell-shocked into another dimension. And this is TMNT, Shredder's Revenge, uh, the Dimension Shell Shock DLC. And we don't usually review DLCs. I find, you know, especially in the past, DLCs were sort of hit and miss. Sometimes you get good DLCs, sometimes, you know, actually, it used to be expansion packs, and the good ones that immediately come to mind were uh, the Diablo expansion packs. And they now it's DLC, you get new cars and this everything. Well, with this game, um, this is the DLC for arguably the best Ninja Turtles game in like two decades. Ever since Turtles in Time, I loved all the other Turtles games I played. I tried to play all the GBA games and DS games and GameCube games, but this is the one that really feels like the direct descendant of the Turtles in Time arcade game and Super Nintendo ports. So anyways, it's worth a gander, essentially what I'm getting to. And the primary selling point of this DLC is you get two new characters. So uh, Yusagi Yojimbo and Karai. Now if you're, I'm only kind of familiar with uh, Yusagi Yojimbo's backstory, but he's sort of like one of the closest allies and friends of the Ninja Turtles. Um, I don't think he comes in, I think he was came at the tail end of the t team TMNT um, show, but he sort of showed up in the comics and other things. So it's cool to see him included with the Ninja Turtles fighting alongside the Ninja Turtles. Um, and Karai, she was sort of sometimes an ally, sometimes an enemy in the, the two Ninja Turtles series ago. And so I guess they figured, hey, let's include someone that's sort of a bit more interesting and a bit different from all the other characters in the game. Um, so anyways, it's a nice juxtaposition for the DLC um, and there's a survival mode as well. And with Yusagi Yojimbo, he's a faster character but he can't really take as many hits um, and he's not strong where Karai seems to be very strong but she's also very slow, probably the slowest character in the game. So, slower and presumably stronger than Raph. So it's very nice to see you know two very different characters come with the DLC that play very differently than the base Ninja Turtles and Splinter and etc. So the survival mode has new enemies and backgrounds. Um, that's where I would say the heart of the gameplay is. Um, you're supposed to collect crystals of various c colors to unlock new costumes for your characters which is all fine and dandy. And there's various power-ups that make your Ninja Turtles stronger or you can turn new with some moves into Bebop, Rocksteady, and Shredder. So playing as a villains, I think was like one of the gimmicks for this game as well. And it's cool at first, but they've only got like their moves from the original base game. And uh, I just, I felt like immediately after playing as them once or twice, I thought, hey, you know, I'd rather go for the crystals at the end of each round rather than the mutagen. The uh, Shredder seems to be the best of the three, which isn't too surprising, but I still would rather be a Ninja Turtle um, than the Mutagen characters. So anyways, this new survival mode is fun. It's designed for very short bursts. The backgrounds are just as detailed pretty much as the original base game's backgrounds. Um, and each new dimension that you warp to is short enough where it's satisfying and the session never really gets boring so kudos to how they paced this out because it could have easily become bloated or too short too long but it feels like perfect length um, I think just as I'd had enough of playing around um, in the survival mode it pretty much got to the end of it so that was definitely well balanced um, and like they're sort of mini stages you just it's like one screen you just fight a bunch of enemies that show up, so like either androids or these advanced like um, foot soldiers, and it, you know it's pretty straightforward compared to like how the base game is. The new music from T Lopes, um, I really love the music from the base game. These unfortunately feel like they were like mediocre outtakes. 
Um, it just can't escape that nagging feeling. Uh, I listened to the soundtrack before I played the survival mode and I just, I felt like two tracks were pretty good, but like everything else was sort of like, you know, wasn't good enough to make in the main game. So they just thought, hey, let's put it in the DLC. I love the main uh, music in the base game, but yeah, this just feels like it was just put in the DLC as like a selling point. Um, so the cons, you'll probably spend another 5-10 hours leveling up the two new characters and um, maybe a few hours in the survival mode. Um, I know I went through the game completely maybe one and a half times to upgrade the new characters and then I felt like okay I was good for playing the one player mode even though it had been a while since I had leveled everyone up. It was fun to to replay the stages a little bit but I've, I think you've already gone through them so not too exciting. Um, the new turtle action, uh, the more turtle action is great but there's only a few new voice lines and uh, cutscenes so the story mode is pretty much the same story mode you played so as I said it, it kind of feels redundant going through and I felt like that was the best place to level up my character. Um, yeah, as, as, as interesting as the survival mode is and the new backgrounds and uh, a few new enemy types and the chance to get new costumes, um, it just feels very grindy and repetitive. Um, even if you play for one round, um, the unlocking the new color schemes is a great way to rediscover the fun and like that's how I felt when I was playing the one player mode again. I'm like, yeah, this game was fun. I love the music. You know, it's nice to have a new character to sort of um, work on and see them progress to the maximum level of 10. But uh, yeah, it just, um, I just feel like the color schemes, they don't really add much. Like they sound great on paper, but when you're not really going to do anything with them, I feel like. Um, and when I was playing, I noticed not many people, I think one person joined me in the one player mode when I was leveling up the new characters. So there's presumably not a huge um, number of people still playing. I have more people jump in the survival mode but um, they only played for the what five to twenty minutes it takes to go through a full round and then they left so um, yeah so the survival mode like just getting the costumes it feels like bragging rights to your friends it's like hey I unlocked everything and like probably your friends aren't even playing this unless they're hardcore TMT guys um so the survival mode just feels like padding that's there but with the dlc coming more than one year later um it just seems that most people that enjoy the game have moved on to something else maybe a different beat em up maybe rpg or uh maybe starfield or something and yeah they just have something new to play and not many people joined in and so I would say still, this is a really solid DLC. If you love the Ninja Trolls, you love Shredder's Revenge, you're going to love this. Um, I kind of, you know, the new characters, the modes, the costumes, they're great for $7.99. You're paying like nothing. You're paying peanuts for like quite a lot of content. You know, new characters, a survival mode, new costumes once you unlock them. Um, the main game was just so good that I feel like there was someone else I saw that replied to that they were expecting a full storyline and I guess we just got greedy thinking that they would give us a totally new game, a side quest or something and yeah it's hard not to be greedy and wish the expansion was going to be a new story or side quest rather than just sort of like a one, one screen survival mode with 10 different uh, um, um, dimensions. So I would say like for, but for eight bucks, this is a solid eight out of 10 easily. I can see myself playing the survival mode again soon, just to get the more extra costumes whenever I just feel like a, a good solid beat em up, I would go back to Shredder's Revenge first. Um, just like it would, yeah, so it'd be fun to accumulate the fun costumes, but just don't totally go into this expecting a new game. I think it was such a long wait that people had to their expectations grew and grew and grew but even though they never and said it was going to be a new totally new game um, I think that's what people were expecting like it's like 10% new content that perfects the original cowbunga experience so anyways keep on turtling keep on gaming and hopefully we'll get a sequel because it seems like we will so cowbunga dudes bye